Now that the roughen drawing is finished, we will now lower the opacity. Make sure the roughen layer is selected and go to the opacity slider and simply click, hold, and drag it down to lower the opacity. Once we do that, we will go to Add New Layer, click and hold to go to Layer Tools and go to Rename Layer. From there, we will simply call this new layer the Detail Layer and hit OK. Now that we have figured out the basic design of our car, we can now go to the detail layer, select a darker color in the Copic library, and begin to draw the final line art for this car. In this phase, we can fix any problems that we might have seen in our rough lay-in and add any kind of details that we want. After we are done with this phase, we will then begin to add color on a new layer. Because we figured out all the tough problems like basic proportions and perspective in the beginning rough end layer, now we can add as many details as we want. So you can take this time now to add whatever you'd like to the car. After that, we will begin the coloring phase. Though Sketchbook Pro does have tools that allow you to zoom in so that you can add finer detail, you should purposely stay zoomed out so that you can see the entire car while drawing it. This prevents you from taking too much time to render a particular part of the car that may not be important. Keeping zoomed out allows you to see everything as a whole and make better decisions as to what needs detail and what doesn't. After I am done drawing in all the details, I can then make a thicker outline of the silhouette of the car. This will give it a very illustrative quality.
Now that the detail layer is finished, we are now going to merge the detail layer and the rough latent layer together. Before we do that, let us click on the rough latent layer and we're going to the opacity slider and we're going to drag that down even further. So let's do that right now. Click, hold, and drag the opacity slider and we're going to bring that back down to about 22%. Then we will click on the detail layer and we will go to the opacity slider by clicking, holding, and dragging down to about 75%. Once we do that, make sure the detail layer is still selected and you will click and hold to access the layer tools and we will go down to the layer option, merge with below. This will merge both layers. Click and hold again so that we can access the layer tools and also go to rename layer so we can rename the layer again and we can call this, uh, we'll call this simply line art. Once you have renamed the layer, you can click OK, and then we will begin the coloring phase.